I was driving down the road thinking about, um, you know, like how I got to be where I am right now. And it's kind of shocking to think about all of the things that your, that your ego tells you when you're trying to change things in your life. I mean, how many times have you thought to yourself, who do you think you are? You have no right to do this. You're not good enough or I don't know enough. I'm not smart enough. Why would anybody listen to me? And then these fears creep in like, they're going to judge me. They're going to ridicule me. What if they don't like me? All of those things happen as a kind of a safety net so that your, your body, your ego is trying to protect you from something that might never happen. I mean, it's possible that it could happen, but it might never happen. And here's the deal. Who cares? Who cares if somebody says, who do you think you are? Maybe they need to do a little self work. Maybe they need to work on their own self a little bit. What if they say you have no right? They don't get to decide that. They don't get to judge that. You got to be you. You got to do you. You got to be who you are. And if you're not being who you are, then you're giving yourself a disservice and you're doing a disservice for the rest of the world because you are valuable. You have a purpose. You are here for a reason. And the rest of the world needs to know what that reason is. Now, it's up to you how much you share. It's up to you what you do with the gifts that you have. But don't let those things like, who do I think I am? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Do you think you're capable? Do you think you're wonderful? Do you think you're amazing? You should. You have every right to be successful to be happy, to be healthy. You have just as much right as the person sitting next to you, the person across town, the person on the subway, the person on that Learjet going from meeting to meeting. You have every bit as much right to everything this world has to offer as every other single person on this planet. You have to stop having that negative self-talk. You have to stop telling yourself you're not good enough. Now, it helps to have people around you that push you up, right? I used to tell myself stuff like that every day. And I've been so fortunate in my life to find my tribe. I probably found my tribe and really knew that I found my tribe about 10 or 15 years ago. And since then, my tribe has metamorphosized and changed. And it's done some different things as I've grown, as I've changed my goals, as I've changed my dreams and where I'm headed. So, you know, it's great to find your tribe, those people that support you, the people that have the same vision of you. And when I started to believe in myself and when I started to do things, even though I was afraid, guess what I learned? Guess what people said to me? People said things like, I love you. I think you're amazing. I love talking to you. I love listening to you. I love your heart. I love the things that you do for people. I love how you share things with people. I love how you break things down and can explain them to people on terms that they can understand without making them feel stupid. People have said all of these things to me. I wasn't judged. I wasn't ridiculed. I was accepted exactly for who I was. If I had known that was going to happen when I was 12 or 15 or 18, or 25, don't you think I would have been a lot more successful? Don't you think I would have tried more things, achieved more things? Why did I wait till I was almost 40 years old to realize that I am good enough? I do have a right. I do know enough to help someone. I may not know as much as the guy over there, but I know more than this person over here. And I can help that person and I can learn from this person. So guess what? Surround yourself with people that know more than you. Surround yourself with people that could learn from you, that want to learn from you. Surround yourself with people that you admire and you want to be like. And guess what? You'll, they'll rub off on you. You'll rub off on them. People will learn things from each other. It'll be an amazing experience. And you won't be judged. And if you are, Stay away from those people because they're too small-minded. If you get ridiculed, 
check yourself. Make sure you're not in the wrong. If you are in the wrong, apologize. If you're not in the wrong, then don't accept that ridicule and say, I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm moving on. Stay away from those negative people. Find where you're accepted. Find where you're celebrated. Be around your tribe, the like-minded people who accept you for who you are. And you can help them even find more people. Build a bigger tribe. Get that tribe going. Find your tribe. Build your tribe. Just, you know, you don't have to fit in somewhere. Just find people that celebrate you. You don't necessarily have to be just like everyone else. Will the voices in your head go away? Do the voices in my head still exist? Yeah. Sometimes when I'm getting ready to do something or getting ready to try something new or something crazy that I want to do so badly, but I'm afraid, those voices do pop up in my head. What if? What if you fail? What if you excel? What if you succeed? What if it's better than any dream you've ever had? What if it's better than the wildest dreams you've ever had? What if you can't even imagine how amazing your life will be? What if? You know, you can use that sentence two different ways. What if can be a negative thing, and what if can be a positive thing. So the next time your brain says, what if, say, yeah, what if? What if? Let's go find out. And go what if. Go figure it out. Get out there and what if yourself into excellence, into something you've always wanted to do, but you've been afraid to try. Have you ever wanted to sing in a band? Do it. Have you ever wanted to climb a mountain? Go do it. You may need some practice. You may need to buy some equipment. You may need to figure something out. But go do it. Find out what it is that you have to have to do something and go succeed. Don't let those little voices in your head stop you. Get out there and be who you want to be. And if you know anybody who's not being who they want to be, grab a hold of them and take them with you. Just do it. You know, that's Nike's thing. Just do it. But, I mean, I'm serious. You have to just do it. Go out and get some excitement in your life. Go somewhere. Do something you've never done before. Take baby steps if you have to. But go do it. Make those changes. Improve your life. Improve yourself. Do whatever it is that makes you feel amazing. And keep doing it. And then once you're good at that, take somebody with you and help them feel amazing too. So that's really my only message for today. And, um, you know, I, I think you're great. And if you're not sure, just ask me. I'll tell you. I hope you have a fabulous